people call me lazy. Can y'all believe that? <laughs> people call me lazy, but I'm not lazy. I just know that all I got to do is put my faith in him. I don't got to go out here and try to sign an application to work for somebody, for somebody else to tell me what to do. I don't have to do that. All I had to do was be obedient. All I had to I can teach finance and I'm about my check. You better come correct. Hey, y'all. If you want to know why God is not answering your prayers or it seems like he not, it's because y'all don't have faith in him. I'm so serious, and I was one of them people. That's why I can tell y'all that. Y'all know how we go to church when we was little, and our parents is a reason why we Christians or why we Baptists or whatever, Muslim or whatever. That's not good enough. You just go on off of learning behavior. When you get older and life start hitting you, you have to make the choice to have faith in the most high like you have to make those choices you have to make those sacrifices like this is not a uh, little thing where we go in and oh we love you god and give our two dollars or whatever like this is real life situations i thought that i believed in god i thought that i had faith but i did not i had faith Again, you know, a lot of us, we were really only call on God when we needed him. But when I was like, God, look, I I don't want to do her to make money no more. And God know what kind of child he's dealing with. He do. And I guess he knew, like, my poor baby. I know that for a fact she ain't going to get out here and do no labor. Okay, you could come work for me, but you got to do X, Y, and Z. And I was just like, huh? And I had to work on my faith. I mean, like, y'all, the stuff that God was showing me, it really, really, it actually, it was beneficial to me. If God want to use you, allow him to, because it will really, really, really make you a different person. It better make you a different person. But when I say I put everything in him, I... Stop talking to everybody. I really was only talking to three people on this earth. I put my all in him. I put, and when things didn't go right, I didn't say, dang, I didn't get mad like, dang, don't, don't nothing work for me. I didn't do that. I was like, oh, he must not want that for me. Oh, okay, well, it must not be the right time. Okay, I'm going to wait on him. Like, I did not move, excuse me, if I did not think or if I didn't feel the nudge from God himself. When I say his faith has made me have more confidence on, of myself, it made me more calmer. It's nothing in this world that I, in this world, is nothing on this earth, I'm going to say that with confidence that I had to work hard for. Everything that I had to work hard for was internally. Like, people be saying that, and, oh, self-care, and self-care is not getting your hair and nails done. That shit is self prep is that's not self care self care is really being calm you see some people that's calm people call me lazy can y'all believe that <laughs> people call me lazy but i'm not lazy i just know that all i gotta do is put my faith in him i don't gotta go out here and try to sign an application to work for somebody for somebody else to tell me what to do i don't have to do that all i had to do was be obedient all I had to do was have faith. And if he say just a little faith, but I had more than just a little faith, I had all the faith. I, with everything in me, I I believed. And somebody prophesied over my life, and I believed in that prophecy. And sometimes when people tell us something, it's, it's like it's more realistic to believe the bad versus the good. But... Not me, baby. Oh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, I, I you know, I'm a, I believe. Oh, I, I believe. And hell, if I didn't, I wanted to and I started to. And man, my whole life changed. It, my whole entire life changed. My perspective changed. The way I felt changed. And a lot of times, God would, like I said, He would make you uncomfortable. He would see how you act when things don't go your way. Because God want to check your character. Like, he really want to know what type of person he dealing with. And um, I showed him I was faithful. 
I had faith. And even when things didn't go on my way, I did not let that steal me from what I knew I was getting. Like, y'all know what it felt like for somebody to be looking at you like, oh, why she can't go get no job? Why she can't do this? Why she can't do this? I, can, I can't do that. You can do that. I can't do that. That's not what I'm here for. That's not the you know, the agreement that me and the guy that I serve had, that's not the agreement. I'm not doing it. And when I tell y'all, my sisters has been so supportive. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just forever grateful. But, again, when y'all got to get that faith on y'all own. Like, y'all y'all keep saying, oh, my grandma praying for me. I got to pray on grandma. And that's cool. And will you be covered from somebody else if i feel like if that person put in that much work i'm sure but you can have it on your own i ain't gonna wait on my grandma i love my grandma but i ain't gonna wait on my grandma i'm gonna have i'm gonna get it myself i'm gonna get it myself and i'm gonna point to myself i'm gonna point to god and it helped my relationship with him it helped my confidence with him and when you know that you on a winning team like people be saying they on a winning team da, da, da. Like, uh, cause you see some people and they, they got all this supposedly wisdom and they so woke, but they are poverty. They living in poverty. People be living in poverty. They don't even know it. I'm going to talk about that. I was in certain circumstances where I was just like, you, you don't have the knowledge and you don't, you don't have, you don't have nothing. You don't, you, they don't even, people don't even know that they in property. People don't know that. They think that that's the way the world's supposed to be. They're supposed to get up and go work for somebody. No, that's not. But I don't believe it. So guess what? That's not my reality. So I'm somebody that I will really literally go without. Oh, I got to sacrifice a couple of days, a couple of what's the names. Oh, okay. I'm not going to go sign up to be somebody's puppet. I'm not doing that. And so it's all about the man. It's all about what you believe. And another thing is like, y'all got to stop being so, getting so offended at, at another person believes. Because let me tell you something. If half of y'all can have a belief that I have, if y'all really believe it, y'all will believe it too so y'all can get it. So many women, well, men, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the man for a second. Oh, she thinks she so cute. She ain't gotta work. She ain't gotta do. Y'all should see my DM with men. Y'all think I put that out of my ass? Men want to take care of a woman that look good. That's funny. I got a sense of humor. I can cook. I can clean. I'm funny. I'm spontaneous. They would, but that's not how I'm supposed supposed to get mad. I have a purpose and I have faith in my purpose and I believe that God is going to deliver the desires of my heart me and God got a contract I don't be playing with God he don't play with me I don't be playing with him either I know he be laughing at me but I don't be playing with him either I told y'all I told God so many times like I see why people go to hell I don't want to do this I don't want to say this I don't want to talk to that person I don't want to do I don't because people will be thinking you crazy but that's the sacrifices that you taking when you dealing with the higher power like and you can't worry about how you gonna look you cannot worry about how you gonna look you can't worry about being uncomfortable and this and you can't worry about that but when you start getting them blessings and, and people start seeing the type of lifestyle you living and this and that, they'll get on the right track then. They're going to wish you told them something then. They're going to start believing you then. But see, by that time, God going to already show you that you can only, this this the only people that you can talk to. One, two, three, this, these people right here. And he already did that for me. And so I'm so happy. So anything God tell me to do, I'm doing it. And anybody that oh she crazy she cha i did change i'm telling y'all the stuff that i've been through with this man it will change you if you got all this faith in god and it don't change you 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 ain't got no faith and that's why your life ain't gonna never change you gotta make take chances it's scary. You got to relearn things. You got to put things out your mind. You got to change your perspective. The hardest thing to work on is your mind because we've been programmed. Like, our parents teach y'all stuff. Teachers teach y'all uh, stuff. We go we go to these universities, college, and this and that. Like, no, my stuff didn't come from the books. My stuff came from the spirit and from the heart. Like, 
if God make you uncomfortable, is to push you in a better directions to push you to the next level and just keep going and don't give up on yourself because if you give up on yourself you ain't hurt nobody but yourself you're not doing god no favor you really not only reason why i'm doing this is so i can reap the benefit i could say oh to serve god i don't have a choice but to serve him so yeah i hope y'all understand what i'm saying